Hey folks, this is the Z13 from Asus ROG. And this is what you can do with it. This is the most powerful tablet on the market and even if you look into laptops with a similar size and weight footprint, the Z13 does not have a lot of competition. It's an extremely portable and flexible device that gives you a great tablet and laptop experience on the go. And with the external XG Mobile, which is basically a laptop RTX 3080 with a 150 watts power budget, this puppy can easily keep up with the most powerful gaming laptops on the market. While the Z13 was released a while ago, you can find them bundled with the XG Mobile on sale quite a lot these days. And since it's one of the most exciting devices released this year, I still wanted to make a video about it. I will also focus on the package with the XG Mobile a lot, since it's what makes the small flow tablet unique, both for gamers and content creators. While the design of the Z13 might be a tad bit aggressive and might give you the occasional raised eyebrow from your colleagues should you take this thing to work, build quality is exceptional. The tablet feels very premium and dense and while the kickstand might look a little flimsy, it is rock solid and stays in the desired position no matter what. The keyboard snaps in place with a satisfying click and also offers no reason to complain and feels the part as well with its soft fabric material. In terms of ports, we have to accept that we are dealing with a tablet, so the I.O. options are a bit limited. Along the left side, you can find a single USB-C Thunderbolt 4 that for some reason cannot be used for charging and the external proprietary GPU connector delivering 8 PCIe lanes and another USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 with DisplayPort support. This one will be your primary way of charging the powerful tablet. On the right, ASUS added an audio combo jack and a single USB-A port. Unfortunately, this one is only USB 2, so don't expect to use it for more than your wireless dongles or the like. ROG added a microSD card slot below the kickstand that offers very speedy transfer rates and exceptional read speeds. Given that this Z13 could be a great tool for the traveling video editor or photographer, we would have loved to see a full-size SD card reader to quickly offload footage on the go. Regarding wireless communication, the small tablet also gives us no reason to complain and offers speedy transfers. That said, while the average transfer rates are absolutely fine, they haven't been as stable as we are used to from high-end devices, but that should hardly pose problem during your everyday use. Since this is a tablet after all, it comes with two cameras, an 8 megapixel shooter at the back that offers decent quality for the occasional quick snap, and a 720p webcam that offers not the best, but also not the worst of what we have seen so far in laptops. If you want to use the Z13 as a laptop, the magnetically attached keyboard and touchpad actually surprised us. The keys offer quite a bit of travel, satisfying tactility and a pronounced pressure point, making it not just an added afterthought but a solid input option for both typing and even fast shooters. ROG adds a bit of gamer DNA to the keyboard as well by making the backlight a single RGB zone. The trackpad also delivers a solid experience despite it being on the smaller side. In addition, ASUS also offers an optional pen for the Z13, and I tried it for a few quick edits in Photoshop. While it isn't as accurate as a Wacom Cintiq Experience for example, it is a great option for a little bit of mobile retouching or color grading. You interact with your on-screen content with the Z13's Full HD touchscreen. There's also a 4K option available, but we haven't been able to test that one. While I would have wished for higher color gamut coverage for Adobe RGB and DCI-P3 to make this one even more suitable for content creation, the panel used by ROG is a great fit for the gaming tablet. The fast 120Hz refresh rate makes everything nice and smooth and the panel delivers amazing brightness and contrast numbers. With 100% sRGB coverage, photo, design work and video editing are easily doable within that color range. While color reproduction out of the box was a little off, that can easily be rectified by either doing your own calibration or heading over to our website to download our ICC profile. 
While the fast refresh rate is great for games, response times are a little slow for the absolute competitive edge. But for almost all but the most hardcore Call of Duty sweats, this panel delivers an excellent gaming experience. Before we get to the GPU performance and have a look at the XG Mobile in a bit more detail, let's talk about the brain for this puppy. While you can get the Z13 with an i7 12700H or an i5 12500H, our review unit comes with the insanity that is an i9 12900H stuffed into a tablet. While we are pretty sure that for most cases the i7 variant will be enough, the higher single core performance might get you a bit more raw CPU processing power here and there. We also kind of expected that the 14 core Alder Lake chip had to be throttled significantly to stop melting itself to death. But our tests show that our G lets it run at a whopping 115 watts for a short period of time before it settles at a more reasonable 55 watts in sustained loads. While that drop is significant, it is not uncommon amongst even much thicker devices. And the small tablet delivers insane performance numbers. Comparing this one to smaller notebooks doesn't even make sense, because even compared to performance notebooks like the Alienware X14, Plate 14 or the Sephiroth G14, in raw CPU performance, this little thing beats them all. One key area that is quite a limitation in our opinion, especially if you want to use this little thing for more than gaming, is the amount of RAM available. Unfortunately, ASUS offers the Z13 with only 16GB of RAM. A 32GB option would have been very nice to see, especially when using apps like Photoshop or DaVinci Resolve. Nonetheless, system performance is very impressive. My colleague Andreas, who did the original written review on our website a few months ago, mentioned some stutters here and there, but those seem to have vanished completely. I've never experienced anything similar during my time with this. Speaking of my time with this, as you might already know, I am both a freelance retoucher as well as handling all of the video production here at notebookcheck.com. So I would say I qualify as a content creator and I also travel a lot, presenting me with the unique opportunity to test the Z13 as my daily driver both in the office, with the tablet docked at the XG Mobile for a full desktop experience, as well as taking this thing on the road both by itself and with the external GPU. The amount of sheer performance you can get out of this setup is simply amazing and really shows how far mobile computing has come in the recent years. But first things first, let's put these two together. It is rather simple, really. You just plug the XG Mobile connector into the tablet. While you do not have a connection with the GPU right away, your Z13 will get power, and you can also already use the additional ports found at the external GPU. ASUS is more than making up for the limited I.O. options on the tablet itself by adding four USB-A ports, HDMI, DisplayPort, a full-size SD card reader, and even a wired network connection definitely making this a full-fledged docking solution. As soon as you flip the little switch on the connector, ASUS Armory Create software will inform you that the external GPU is detected. You just click OK and boom, RTX 3080, here we come. Connecting and disconnecting the XG Mobile always worked flawlessly and without any real problems. On its own, the Z13 is a capable performer, but since the integrated RTX 3050 Ti only runs with a maximum of 40 watts, you definitely have to manage your expectations. While you have to play around with the settings to get above 60 FPS in graphically intense games, the fact that you can, in fact, game on a tablet is simply amazing for me. If you want to create on the go, the RTX 3050 Ti helps tremendously with GPU accelerated apps and even without the external GPU, I had a great time with the Z13 in apps like Photoshop and Resolve for our video production. To show how much the external GPU can improve things, I put together a few benchmarks comparing the Z13 with and without the RTX 3080 in synthetics and a few other benchmarks. If you are not subscribed yet, this would also be the perfect opportunity to rectify that particular situation. In terms of real-world gaming performance, I also tested some games with and without the XG Mobile, on the Z13's display and also on a 4K monitor to see how that affects performance. As a point of reference, I ran the same games on an Alienware X17 with an RTX 3080 Ti.
In terms of cooling, ASUS didn't skimp and equipped the gaming tablet with a vapor chamber and also used liquid metal to further improve temperatures. And it definitely shows when it comes to fan noise. Despite the power-hungry i9, the small tablet is very well behaved and stayed very quiet during idle or low-load scenarios. If you stress both the CPU and the RTX 3050 Ti, it will get relatively noisy, but it is never bothersome. This makes the Z13 a very convenient everyday computing companion, no matter if you are using it as a tablet or a laptop. The XG Mobile, on the other hand, can get quite audible when you are pushing it in turbo mode. But the situation is comparable to most other high-end gaming laptops with such powerful graphics. We took some noise samples in various scenarios, so you can get an idea yourself. While it is very convenient that you can charge the Z13 with the very portable USB-C charger, it is only rated for 100 watts, which seems to be an occasional bottleneck in peak load scenarios. In such cases, the core components can zip up to 40 to 50 watts from the battery to make up for the missing power, which begs the question if the Z13 could have been even more powerful with a higher wattage charger. Since this behavior was only observed during our stress tests, pushing both the CPU and GPU to 100% load, you will hardly come across such situations during everyday use. But it is still something you should be aware of. Such powerful components with an over-the-top cooling solution in a tablet doesn't leave a lot of room for the battery. And this is unfortunately reflected in our battery test. Around 5.5 to 6 hours in our Wi-Fi or video playback tests aren't particularly bad for a gaming laptop, but compared to other tablets, the Z13 cannot really keep up. This is simply the price you have to pay for such a powerful yet small system. That said, it would have been very interesting to see a Ryzen version of the Z13, even if you would have to give up quite a bit of CPU performance. Alright folks, it's time to wrap it up. ASUS ROG is really on a roll this year when it comes to offering unique laptop form factors in a well thought out manner. Both the Cephas 2 16 and the Flow X16 have been exceptional, and the Z13 is as well. Of course the form factor means some compromise, but ASUS placed them very thoughtfully and still created a very enticing product that should please a lot of different users. Do you like a tablet for your personal entertainment, but also want to use that same tablet to get some work done and game properly too? Are you a photographer, a graphic designer or a video editor that works a lot on the go and needs the flexibility of a tablet running a proper desktop OS, paired with the convenience of a full-on laptop experience? And then your options are turbocharged once you add the XG Mobile to the equation when your couch Netflix machine suddenly turns into a 4K gaming console or a full-fledged 4K video editing monster. All of the engineering wizardry ASUS put inside of this thing has its price though, and the Z13 and the XG Mobile don't come cheap. That said, if you really need that one machine that can do it all, this might be it. That would be it for today, good people. Please consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. My name's Alex, you have been amazing and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.